Good, good to see you, Rodney. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, tell me a little bit about your experience with partnering with aviation. Well, I've been in aviation since 1988, and you know, partnering up until recently, you know, it was something that was always a buzzword that you did, and you had a big partnering meeting when the project started, and then maybe not so much as the project went on. And what we're seeing today, and I think what the, some of the great experience we're seeing here in San Francisco is the success of, of having uh, partnering that's, that's built into the process from start to finish. And that way there's an accountability, and I think that working together is, is making all the difference. And some of the examples we're seeing here at this airport are examples that we're taking to other airports saying, see what can happen when we have active partnering that's you know, brought about by the owner all the way down to the organization. That's great. Uh, do you have any examples of where what's been done here at San Francisco is taking effect in other locations in the country? Well, we're seeing, I think, more and more of it. I think this is kind of the, the, the leading edge of, of the partnering that's going on. Uh, I've been involved in some partnering projects in, in Reno, the Reno Tahoe Airport uh, that turned into great successes as part of partnering. It was a little more organic partnering, but the story that's happened out here is what we're talking about now in our pursuits in, uh, in LaGuardia for the Port Authority in New York, New Jersey, in DFW. So the conversation is getting there. I haven't found too many airports that have developed the kind of infrastructure that's, that's based on partnering the way that San Francisco has yet. But I think this is a story that we build on. That's fantastic. And how are you taking this story? Are you, are you taking information that they put together and presenting it, or are you just talking it? Well, I'm doing both. Uh, I speak at a lot of aviation conferences, so I'm using that platform that I get at, at the various alpha, alphabetical conferences to talk about partnering and the success story that IPI has had along with San Francisco and say, if we can do it here in California on very large projects and get the results that we're getting here, how well might it work in smaller airports or even larger airports around the country? So we're, look, we're looking at that, and so I'm using that as an opportunity to, to talk about it. We're also writing about it when we talk about what's new, how can we get better results, how can we deliver more for less, and, and create a much more uh, richer environment for all the parties involved. Do, do you sense much uh, reticence in terms of ex exploring partnering, or generally do you find that people are – interested because of the results? I think the story is not as widespread yet as the results as we would like. Uh, I think people hear partnering and they immediately go back and start thinking about what partnering used to be, which is just a word, uh, as, as, as opposed to an active way of doing projects. So I think the story getting out from San Francisco is good. Uh, I still get a lot of people that seem like eyes glaze over when we talk about partnering. They go, oh, we do that. And I said, well, no, you don't do that. Uh, you know, maybe if it was partnering plus or there's another way to talk about it. But uh, I think there's some education still yet to be done. And that's part of my job to get that education out there. Yeah, there is, there is some baggage with the term partnering. Yes, and that's why IPI coined the term collaborative partnering to try to get past that. So there's a, there's a lot of education that has to be done. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Rodney. Thank you, sir.